Have you ever felt that introvert or extrovert doesn't fully describe you? Do you feel that your introversion fluctuates depending on the people around you or the time you interact with people? If you don't fall on either side of the spectrum, you're probably an ambivert. So here are seven signs that you are an ambivert. Number one. You enjoy socializing, you just need downtime afterward. Do you like parties? How'd you spend your time at a party? Extroverts love being around people at parties, talking to many people without needing to take breaks to recharge. Introverts usually don't enjoy parties as much and prefer to stick with a familiar face or a group of friends the entire night. Ambiverts, on the other hand, can channel their inner extrovert and talk with lots of different people and have fun with new and familiar faces but they may also spend some downtime with their friends or alone to recharge before immersing themselves in a crowd once again. Number two, you're good at managing people. Do others turn to you in times of crisis? Depending on the situation, both introverts and extroverts can become good leaders. According to a study published in the Harvard Business Review on a pizza delivery chain, an extroverted leader with passive employees tended to bring more success to a business, but lower profits when employees were more proactive. On the other hand, a business had better profits when proactive employees were under more introverted management. This is good news for ambiverts, who can show introverted and extroverted characteristics based on their employees' needs and adjusting to their team. Number three, you're easy to get to know. Is it easy for you to get a conversation going with a stranger? It's hard for introverts to open up immediately right away. Unlike extroverts who can start a conversation fairly easily, ambiverts fall somewhere in between. They don't mind starting up a conversation with someone they don't know, but they also aren't known for being the center of attention or having an outgoing personality. Ambiverts can easily guide the conversation and make it an enjoyable time for both themselves and their new friend. Does that sound like you? Number four. You work well in solo and group settings. Would you rather work alone on a task or collaborate with others? Introverts tend to enjoy working in solitude, but they can often have difficulty sharing their thoughts in a group setting. Extroverts, on the other hand, work well in group settings, but they may not be as motivated to perform when they're by themselves. Ambiverts fall in the sweet spot, in the middle, and thrive in both settings. They can make great facilitators, helping introverts speak up in group settings and they can also be great at channeling their inner focus when working alone. Number five, you're a good listener and communicator. Introverts are known to be excellent listeners, whereas extroverts are great at articulating their thoughts. Ambiverts take bits of both personalities. They know when to talk and when to listen, and they can usually pick up on what others want or need to hear, making them great mediators. Number six, you know when to trust people. Do you think that your gut feeling is almost always correct? Introverts have a difficult time opening up, often distancing themselves from others before fully trusting them. Extroverts are sociable, but they may also trust others a bit too much at the start. Ambiverts tend to be more discerning and know how to make the other party feel at ease and also how to provide the right information at the right moment. And number seven, you'd rather have your weekends packed would you rather have your weekends filled with activities or free from stress? Whereas introverts would rather do their own thing and relax, ambiverts enjoy going out occasionally, staying home for too long, although nice every once in a while can drain them and they'll often find ways to socialize on the weekend. Do you relate to any of the signs above? Are there any that we've missed? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with those who might benefit. The references and studies used are listed in the description below. That's all for now, friends. Until next time.